Good morning, everyone, on this um, most somber day, 20th anniversary of the attack on the United States uh, by terrorists. And so I um, hope you'll take a moment today to uh, reflect on those events, to uh, certainly to pray for the families uh, of the, the victims uh, from uh, those attacks, to pray for our nation, uh, for her leaders, um, that um, they would continue to guide our nation, uh, and to pray for our enemies as well. Um, that um, um, they would uh, many of many of those uh, I guess probably all of those uh, involved in those actions and and similar actions are uh, are trapped in a <clears throat> godless uh, system a godless religion that um, the majority of them were born into they have they they they, they know no other way uh, it's what they've been indoctrinated into since they were uh children and so um pray for their uh pray for our enemies uh salvation that they would come to know uh Jesus Christ for our missionaries who are uh on the field um working um, and to to lead them and to share the gospel with them, and so uh, certainly uh, uh, one of those uh, one of those days that um, I guess all of us, like um, several other events in our history, we will always remember uh, where we were, and um, uh, should be a um, an impetus to us to uh, remember uh, many things uh, in prayer. And so I hope you'll do that today. Uh, if you will, go ahead and like and share this post and then take your Bible and uh, or your tablet if you're able uh, to look with me in the 106th Psalm. We will uh, finish that up uh, this, uh, this fine Saturday and finish up. I finally get my, uh, my desire. We'll finish a Psalm on uh, Saturday and be able to start a new one on Monday morning. So beginning in uh, the 43rd verse today, uh, we'll be looking again at the conclusion uh, of uh, the psalm and uh, what, uh, again, reminds you and uh, that uh, in the first uh, 42 verses, the psalmist has uh, basically read the charges. He has listed a or gave a list of uh, many of the ways uh, that Israel, uh, the Jews, had failed to be faithful uh, to God. And so now he uh, is going to close by with, uh, uh, with uh, these words. He says, many times he did, del he, did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Uh, and so he points out that in spite of their uh, their unfaithfulness many times uh, he did deliver them uh, he brought them through uh, and brought them uh, relief brought them salvation uh, and we can see that in particular uh, if you really want to read that uh, you can go back and read through uh, the book of uh, judges and again see that uh, that roller coaster that I talk about. Uh, with uh, the Jews as they go up and down and up and down they uh, they turn against God uh, God brings uh, some type of judgment on them whether it's um, uh, an enemy invasion or whether it's some type of uh, famine or, uh, or or something of that nature uh, they beg God to forgive them and to help them uh, God delivers them and then the cycle uh, repeats itself and so uh, the psalmist uh, calls that out and points out to them uh, that uh, he had delivered them and uh, yet they continued uh, to provoke them and uh, that uh, he would get, that they continued to repeat that uh, cycle uh, we know that uh, he ultimately 
would allow them to be taken into uh, another uh, period of captivity, uh, 70 years uh, in Babylon, uh, and uh, for their uh, for their sin. Uh, and so he points that out. And then uh, he goes on, he says, nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered uh, for them his covenant and repented according uh, to the multitude uh, of his mercies. And in spite of, uh, again, the nation uh, of Israel, their continual uh, following of this cycle um, of uh, failing and crying for help, being delivered, um, loving God, then falling away and just continuing uh, in that cycle, that when they cried out, God, uh, nevertheless, as the psalmist says, uh, he stepped in and he, he, uh, he, he rescued them. Uh, he honored his covenant uh, with the Jewish people. Uh, and he says in verse 46, he made them also uh, to be pitied of all those that carried them uh, captives. And so uh, he, um, God would intervene by uh by touching the people the the nations uh who had uh who had carried them away who had become their oppressor who had become their uh captor uh and eventually uh they began to have uh pity began to have sorrow uh for uh this the, these people uh and so God would touch uh them uh and he concludes then with uh, with these words uh, when he says uh, save us O Lord our God and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting and let all the people say amen praise ye the Lord uh, and so as the psalmist finishes uh, his um, his telling uh, his recalling of the history uh, of uh, of of Israel, uh, he has established here, uh, and in conjunction with the previous psalm, has conjunct, uh, established um, the fact uh, that Israel had uh, frequently been found unfaithful, but that God uh, had never uh, been found unfaithful. He had always been uh, been faithful to the Jewish people. And so he uh, prays and asks God to gather uh, the Jews and to bring them uh, back home home uh, to bring them back together. Uh, interesting note, this is actually the end, uh, not only of the 106th Psalm, uh, but it is the end of the fourth book or fourth division uh, of the Psalms, and like all four, uh, three of the previous books, uh, they end with uh, with this uh, statement, some statement of, uh, of praise. And so um, what the psalmist is doing here is uh, encouraging uh, the people uh, to praise the Lord, to worship Him, uh, to turn from their uh, wicked ways. And, uh, and the, the lesson from the, this psalm for uh, you and I today is, is, is the very same lesson uh, that it was for, uh, for Israel, that God takes care of His people, uh, that God, in spite of ourself, in spite of uh, our actions, in spite of uh, our own decisions, uh, He takes care of us in His power, not because of anything uh, that we have done, but that He takes care uh, of, uh, of, of His people, uh, and that He loves uh, His people. Uh, and this psalm just proves uh, a New Testament uh, lesson, and that is that God's love uh, is greater and more powerful uh, than our sin. Uh, and so 
Uh, this psalm, I think, is a challenge uh, for you and I, uh, and I would encourage you to go back, uh, and we have taken this psalm uh, a few verses at a time, uh, all the way through 48 verses. Um, I think it goes back now to uh, somewhere over uh, um, a week that we've been uh, going through uh, this psalm. Uh, I think back to maybe the middle of last week uh, was... Uh, uh, was the starting in this psalm. Uh, and go back and, and read the psalm through uh, and read it as a whole uh, and, and then, uh, and then uh, think on uh, those uh, words, those lessons that, uh, that are there. That again, in spite of all those, uh, all these accounts, and again, these are not all of them. These are just a uh, a, 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 a small sampling uh, of the times that that Israel had been unfaithful, uh, that they had failed to be obedient, uh, but yet God had continued uh, to to be faithful to them. He continued to take care uh, of His people, um, and I guess my closing thought for us today uh, is as I look at this psalm. I wonder uh, what uh, what this psalm would look like um, if it was written about me instead of Israel. Uh, if it was written about you instead of Israel. Uh, the long list, the laundry list of uh, of failures, of, of times when uh, haven't done what we should, haven't been the, uh, the man or woman that God has called us to be. And yet we know that God has been a faithful God. Uh, God, that he has been true, uh, he has stood by us, he has delivered us uh, time and time again. And so as the psalmist says, praise ye the Lord, uh, bless the Lord uh, for his faithfulness, for his love, uh, for his unending care. All right, I hope that uh, encourages you today, uh, challenges you a little bit, and uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here uh, first thing Monday morning.